So before I ice it, what I'll do is I'll bring the board over to the edge and I've got a trash can right below me. So I'll cut the board and then drop that in the trash can. So I'm cutting the same size as the cake. That way when I ice it, I'll be icing the cake board as well as the cake. And then it won't be an issue later when we put it on the uh, finished board. Okay, I'm gonna turn it here. So you're just using a serrated knife, it's easier than the, using the scissors because this is a double wall cardboard, so it's a thick board. Okay. All right, so then I can go ahead and ice it. So what I wanna do is I'll bring it over here. Sometimes I'll put it on a larger board at this point just so it's easier to ice. And I don't think I brought one with me today. So I'll just pop it on here. Take just regular old buttercream icing, stir it up, pop it on the top, and start to spread it on out. So I'm not doing the same design that is on those shorts there. I mean, you can pretty much do whatever you want. We'll do, you know, something basic like some hearts and maybe a little bit of piping. So we will be using um, a little bit of fondant, but the main part of the cake will just be this white buttercream. always want to make sure you put plenty of buttercream on. A lot of people tend to put less on and then get more cake crumbs. I'm putting a lot on because I know I'm going to, when I start to smooth it, take a lot of it off. So at this point when I have it on, I don't want to see the cake through it. Okay, then I can come back with my icing blade and I'll do this straight side here. I'll come from that side and then come from this direction over here. I'll have to go back and add more there. Okay, it's a little hard to ice this because it's hanging off. I'm gonna go get another board to put it on and I'll show you how much easier that is. 